In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use formulas to extract data from any data source. So basically what I have here is when I select an athlete, a date, and a test, it will automatically extract that athlete's data. This is going to be really useful if you are putting together any dashboards or reports where you need to be able to pull an athlete's data with a few clicks of a mouse. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're back. And in order to get this video started, just to orient you to the sheet, what we have here is from column A all the way over to column E, we have a data set that was created basically for this video. And then on the right hand side here, we have a name, a date and a test. Now the goal here is that we should be able to select an athlete's name, a date, and then be able to return the value for that test. This is an important skill because often when we want to create any sort of graphs or visualizations or reports, we need to be able to do this pretty quick and effectively so that we're always able to return an accurate um, value for whatever it is, the criteria that we're looking for. So without further ado, the first thing that we're going to do is just create some drop down boxes here. Now, whenever you're trying to return values, it's an important step to have drop down boxes here because that ensures that you're actually selecting your data from the data set and that it matches completely. We don't have a name with extra spaces or um, extra characters in it and it matches the exact name that we're looking for. <clears throat> so to do the name here, we'll select the, the cell right beside it. I'm going to go to data, data validation and I'm just going to select a list from range, select data range, I'll select column A, and we want this to start at A2, so A2 and then go all the way down. Because we are using Google Sheets, it will automatically filter any of the unique values out. So let's select basically Sean here. We'll do the same thing for date, data, um, data validation, and select our range that is stored in column B, B2 to B, and we'll hit save. And then finally for test, we're going to data, data validation. And instead of just selecting a column, now we're just going to select the three values out of this row, be it bench press, squat, and 40 meter. And I'm going to hit save and save. So now we should be able to select any of our values. And um, now we have what we would like to return. So how I'm going to show you to do it today is using the formula index match. So what index match does is it allows you to search through a data set and you can search through the entire data set and it tells you um, what row and what column you want to return. So let's build this formula. For example, if I type equals index, the first thing that it's going to ask me for is a reference. Now my reference is going to be my um, entire data. So I'm going to select all of this um, data and then I will hit comma. And the next thing it's going to ask me for is the row that I would like to return. So let's, for example, just put in five and it's going to ask me for the column I would like to return. And because I've selected um, basically five columns worth of data, if I put in three, three should correspond to our bench press. So one, two, and then three. And when I hit um, brackets and hit enter, you can see that that now gives us 315 because we go to one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three across, which gives us 315. So whenever we're using index match, we're going to tell it what row we want to look for, and then also, what column we want to look for, and it will find that middle value. Okay, so the first thing, let's match for the column because we're only going to have one thing that we want to match for there. So under our column, instead of this three, I'm going to use a formula called match, and I'm going to say match, open that up, and it's going to ask me what the match is that I want to reference, and in this case, I want to reference squat, okay, and next it's going to ask me what is the range that I want to look for it in. Well, we know that it goes from A1 all the way to E1. And then I'm going to type in false 
because that is the search type and I want to return an exact match. And I will close off all of the brackets for my index. And when I hit enter, now you can see we get 371. And if I were to hit 40, we get 495, etc. Okay, so now we are actually matching for the column that we want um, based on sort of our match here. So again, we're looking along the top, looking for this value here, 40 meters, and then we're looking for it along the top, and then we're doing a false match. <clears throat> now the next thing we're gonna match for is that row. Okay, I'm just going to merge this here, make it a little bit bigger so that we can see it. And for the row, the tricky part here now is that we actually want to go through and look for um, Sean, let's say Sean, when it was 2021 April 07. So um, that would be right here. So Sean 2021 April 07. So we want to look for both of these values. Okay. In the, in the previous example, we looked for one value, but now we have to actually look for two. So under this index formula, where we had the five before, which is telling us what row, we're going to perform a match again. So what I'm going to look for is match. And this time for my search key, I'm going to put the value of one in there. And what that means is a value of true. So zero would be false, one would be true. And now comma, the range that I'm going to look for is I'm going to look for when, this is going to be in a bracket, when A2 all the way down equals Sean. So basically we're looking for the range whenever a2 um, to A looks for uh, equals Sean. So basically what that's going to do is pull out all of the Sean's and create a range out of those. And then when we add a multiplication symbol in here, that means and, okay? And then another bracket, B2 to B is equal to the date that we're looking for and I'll close that bracket off. So you can see what I've done here. I have two separate conditions here. So B2 to B equals H3 and A2 to A equals H2. When both of those are true, it's going to give us a value of true or um, a value of one. And then the last thing I want is a false. And when I close this off and hit enter, it'll give me my value of 5.95. So let's check our work. 2021, April 07 for the 40 meter, that gives us 5.95. And if I'm to change any of these values, so let's look at Dave's value on that date, 2021, April, 4.94. So again, to walk you through that formula, it's an index, select all of your data. Then for the row, we're going to match for a value of true signified by a one. And we're going to look in one column and whenever that is equal to the value that we're looking for, and then multiply that by another column, whenever that's equal to the value that we're looking for, and then false, and then finally, on the last one, we're just matching for the reference in the actual um, value, in the actual data, okay? So that's just a quick way that you can start to put your index matches together so that you are able to pull out data quickly and easily. I hope this trick helps you out, and if it does, please like and subscribe to the channel, and I will begin posting new videos regularly. Thanks for watching.